I own the land and I can call myself one of the Kenya owners. Boniface life account is charming, inspiring, and adorable. He was born different, but it's mind blogging how hardworking he is. I decided to swing by his homestead in Kiambu County. And I was indeed deeply touched by the warm reception I received from him on his wheelchair. Boniface is about to reveal and unfold to us how he managed to buy a piece of land. Relax, be calm, and get inspired as we get informed from our special guest. As you watch, please subscribe. Kamadina, we need to have one first. Go see. Go no. Hapa and the born in the Zaliwa. In Gawaji, in the Zaliwa, Nikiwa Mulemaru. Siku Zaliwa Kama. Watu wale wengine Lakini wakati nilikuwa Ningali mdogo Nilijikubali tu Nikasema nitaka Nikajipa nguvu Na nikaendelea na masomo yangu Jaita na huko ndika nilipata mafunzo yangu Ya masomo ya msingi Na Nika timiza masomo yangu huko. Kisha wakati nipo maliza shuguli za masomo. Nikuja nikaendelea na kazi zangu za kibiashara Sana sana kilimo biashara Kwa lugha ya kimombo. Tunaweza kusema it is the angle business na bia sala zingine nikaendelea hapa na pale mpaka nikajikakamua na nikaleta ushindani mkubwa katika nyumba yetu but how did he accept himself at an early age nilikubali hivi Mimi ni mtu wa kawaida. Mtu kama watu wale wengine. Sikutabika lohoni. Eti mimi ni mlemavu. Na nikaona ya kwamba mungu. Hakuwa na hatia yoyote. Wala hakuwa na makosa yoyote. Kuniumba hivi. Nilivyo. Sila ana kuwa mlemavu si mimi peke yangu tuko wengi dunia mzima wale mavu wameja this is how important is his spiritual life kwa nini mungu akaomba watu tofauti na watu wale wengine katika kitabu cha kutoka mlango wa 4 mstari wa kumi hadi kumi na ime. na kwa uwezo Mwenyezi Mungu nitasoma Musa akamwambia aka Bwana Bwana mimi si mtumaji tokea zamani wala tokea hapa Mungu alimuumba Musa akiwa na ulimi mzito hakuwa na ulimi Mwepesi wa kuongea kama vile ninavyo yongea. Lakini hata kama alikuwa mgumu wa kuongea manake ulimi wake ulikuwa mzito wa kuongea alikuwa ametaguliwa na Mwenyezi Mungu akiwa vile alivyo. Boniface recalls how his parents worked hard to make sure he was schooling. He also shares beautiful memories of his teachers. Wakati nilienda shuleni, wao nilikuta walimu pale. Nilikuta walimu wakanipenda. Wakanionyesha njia ya kutii. Nikawa mtu mtiifu. 
na nikasoma na nikaendelea nikajikakamua kwa masomo nikakabidi mpaka nikajijua sasa kwa sababu ya wazazi wangu walijitahidi kunipeleka shuleni hongela kwao maana hiki Kiswahili Uh, bacha na zungumza hizi na jivunia kwa sababu ya ukakamavu wa wazazi wangu I had this exceptional opportunity to speak to his mother who with a lot of tranquility and calmness shared the entire experience of his miraculous baby Kama litoje saguru simile nyambura wangu no My name is Rosemary Nyambura Gono Boniface Goshi is my fourth born. He is a twin. When he was young, you could not notice any difference between him and the other child. But when the other child started crying, Boniface delayed. And that is when we took him to Kiambu Hospital, where we started his therapy and we never missed any. To those who hide their kids because they have disabilities, please note that it's God who blesses you with that child for a reason. I remember Goshi's big sister used to carry him as a tet to the other child. I have never thought of hiding my baby. Nene ndamenyire ngai niwe wahe mwana otariyo na dinge dinge siria gwika uru to ni ngai umuhe uhete. Ndu ndahoya ganka ngamwira atiriri. I only had one prayer to God. Please God, help my child to speak so that I can know when he has an issue. And God answered my prayer. Nanga inai guire iho ya leo. I followed him to pick his title deed. He is a celebrity in this place. Even the director of Silver Seed gave him a chance to encourage other investors. Mi maito the biggest investor in Silver Seed. I'm here to say there a few words according to my situations. Mimi wangu naweza kusema Mungu wako. My God is able. Amen. By uh, through the universe I own the land. And I can call myself one of the Kenya owners through the silver seeds. La Misho, I can say that disability is not inability through my effort. I have nothing more to say. I can say that God Bless you all and guide you. Amen. What exactly does Bonface do? Mimi nikiwa huko nje na uzanga credit cards na sweets. Na vitu zingine kama sokoni huwa naenda na nunua dania na kuuza. Na jiendeleza kujikimu maishani mwangu nisiwe mtu wa kuombaomba hapa na pale na niko na mikono Adhi yake kula mgudo sio He bought the land and brought a title deed to me These were my words to my miracle baby Son you're such a gentleman He's also a great farmer in this farm Na nekite manene Toro na mgudo ali Kuwa ninajivunia lile shamba ambalo nimenunua sana sana wakati na kanyanga huko hivi na miguu yangu nasikianga raha kubwa sana manake huwa nalikanyanga shamba la jasho langu mimi mwenyewe This is very encouraging. Na nimekuwa bonge nataka kuoa. Eh? Bonge 
nataka kuoa. Si hapo sawa. Eh tupige boni mpaka bafike. Boni, 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 boni. Sengi kwa wapi? Boni, 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 boni. Gemisi yako wapira mama gemisi kwa wapi? Gemisi yako eh. Nikiwa na wakikui wale wengine huko nje ningetaka kuwa nikijivunia haya maneno ne dainoka da viego ako those words nikisema aka Kiswahili ningetaka kujivunia naenda nyumbani naenda kwangu si ati kwetu kuna tofauti ya kwetu na kwangu mimi mwenyewe ulemavu si kutoweza this is his call to the government nikizungumzia serikali na ni kwambie William Ruto ni rafiki yangu manake nilimchagua wakiwa na ligadhi gachagua rafiki zangu ingawa hawanijui langu kama mtu mlemavu nikiongea kwa niambo ya watu wale mavu wenzangu kitu cha kwanza waangalie shule za wale mavu kama Joy Town kapale fika na ingine iko hapo hapo vika inaitwa fika for the blind kuna ingine inaitwa machakos for the disabled na ingine iko kisumu inaitwa joyland for the disabled hayo mashule yatengenezwe vizuri madarasa na kwa ambi langu madarasa ya kala, ya tengenezwe vizuri vile mtoto mlemavu anaweza kuwa mwanafunzi mwema if people have seminars and even at school kwenye watu wanaitanga wanaenda wanaongelesha watu as a motivational speaker can you be invited there and you talk to people kuitwa katika mashule hilo ni jambo la busala wakiniita pale kama mzalendo wa Kenya naipenda nchi yetu na wapenda wanafunzi wetu walioko mashuleni hao ndio viongozi wa kesho namba yangu ya simu ya simu ni 0792 75 82 Are you happy? Ndio mimi ni mtu mwenye furaha. Ninafurahia kukuona. Wewe Katalina na mwenzako pia nafurahia kuona hapa nyumbani kwetu na nika na furaha kwa hili jambo ambalo umelileta hapa kwetu watu watafaidika kupitia wewe na kupitia kwa mwenzako na pia kupitia kwangu mimi mwenyewe yes hata si tumefurahia sana vile umetukaribisha na kwa mwingi Mungu akubariki amina amen ndio mama hili ni gwede tamuno todo no ade dide ni madija